Hey there fragrance fam, I'm Maddie and I'm so glad that you guys decided to click on this video. So our custom scented and scent tutorials are some of our most popular videos, so I figured I'd take some time to teach y'all a little more about these fragrance wonders. So if you've been curious about adding incense to your line, well, this video is for you. So for starters, what are incense sticks, cones, and coils? You've probably seen some form of incense around your grocery stores, gas stations, and specialty shops. Incense burn and release a fragrance smoke into the air, and they're made from organic combustible material that it burns at a slow, even rate. Sticks are formed around a thin needle, cones press into small, well, cone shapes, and of course, coils are rounded into a spiral to maximize burn time. Incense have traditionally been scented using various herbs and resins, giving them a very natural and earthy smell when burned. They've been around for thousands of years and have roots in many cultures around the world, being used for religious, ceremonial, and odor masking purposes. Nowadays, incense have become a popular method of scenting your space in a unique way. With modern technology and material, they can be fragranced with just about any smell you can imagine. From traditional options like dragon's blood and frankincense to something like cotton candy and ocean water. So how are incense made with all of these fragrances? Nowadays, incense can be made just using combustible material with no scent. These are called blanks. So from there, they can be soaked in a solution of fragrance and carrier liquid. After they've been soaking for a couple of days, they can be left to dry and then used. Now the fragrance you use is entirely up to you, but we recommend scents with notes that complement the natural smoky aroma that incense typically has. Additionally, it's really important to use a carrier liquid alongside the fragrance you use. The ideal carrier liquid is DPG, AKA dipropylene glycol. So DPG is a clear unscented liquid that doesn't produce toxic fumes when burned and dipropylene glycol blends very well with fragrance oils, strengthening their scent and ensuring a consistent release when burning. Without DPG, fragrance oils produce black smoke and can smell rather not good when used alone in incense. They're also typically too thick to absorb into the incense material on their own. So DPG not only ensures your custom scented incense burn cleanly and evenly, but also that they fully absorb the fragrance through the stick, cone or coil. The ratio of fragrance oil to DPG can vary, but we like to stick with one part fragrance to two parts DPG. This is about a 34% concentration of fragrance, and you can perform your own test to see if you can push this limit up to a 50-50 mix, but we definitely don't recommend anything higher than this. A simple ratio like this makes it easy to scale your production up or down, and depending on the size of your blanks, you can scent around 10 sticks, cones, or coils for every two ounces of fragrance slash DPG mixture. If you want to make a small batch, use a glass or solvent resistant plastic container. Make sure it's tightly sealed with a lid to prevent the fragrance from evaporating while the incense sticks. If you want to make hundreds or even thousands of incense at a time, large mixing vats are ideal. Incense cones and coils can be completely submerged in the liquids, whereas sticks can be hung from racks by their reed stems. After a day or two of soaking, remove them from the liquid and lay them out on a cooling tray. Let them get plenty of air from all sides and try to keep from them from touching one another so they can dry evenly on all sides. Sticks dry a lot faster than cones and coils do because they're not stents. Depending on how thick your fragrance is, it can take anywhere from a couple of days to a week or so to dry completely. I recommend placing them in a cool dry room with a dehumidifier to speed up the process. So check every now and then to see if they leave any oil residue on gloved hands, and if they do, they need more time to dry. If not, well, they're ready to go. Wet incense sticks won't burn evenly and might even go out before they've been used fully. To use incense, light the end and let it develop some bright orange embers, then blow it out gently to allow the embers to travel down the incense. Make sure you're burning them in a ventilated area as their smoke can quickly fill tight, stuffy spaces. As they burn, they leave behind a light gray ash, so make sure to use a proper incense holder to catch these ashes and avoid getting them on any surfaces. So that's all there is to it. Incense are a simple cost-effective project you can make both at home or in a warehouse. Whether you're a small business or a large-scale corporate operation, they're a great product to add to your line to appeal to your younger and older consumers alike who appreciate their unique appearance and aesthetic. Be sure to check out our incense tutorials to learn different tips and techniques for making your own custom scented sticks and cones. Join the AFI Fragrance fam by subscribing to the channel and ringing that bell icon to stay in the know. As always, I'm Maddie, and I'm so glad that you guys joined me in the Project Lab today. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!